So good morning to you all ladies and gentlemen. As uh, you are aware that in the last decade or so, it has become a practice of people deliberately encroaching upon government lands, lands that have been acquired by executive instrument for the purposes of the state. One of that, you know, was CSIR. By the grace of God, we have been able to do that. Today, we are here because during crime improvement time, lands from this area all the way to Tema was acquired by executive instruments where the head lease was under TDC. Some parts of the acquired lands were ceded for the purposes of Ransa. That is on your right hand side. We are told that the total acreage is uh, over 3,000 acres. Now if I should do a little mathematics, in the old, olden days uh, an acre of a land or a parcel of land will equate to four plots. So let's try and do the mathematics. Four plots times 3,500 plots. Four. So you are talking about 13,000 plots or 12,000. Today, if they are doing 80 by 70, then it's six plots. So let's multiply six plots by 3,000. 18,000 plots. As we speak, we are reliably informed that well over 2,500 acres of government land have been encroached upon with impunity. They have built. As if that is not enough. Currently, as we speak, I'm sure you've been to the site, and you have seen that people overnight, they fill the core area of the Ramsa, the lagoon, and they are building. Mr. President, a few months ago, gave directives that all buildings sitting in waterways must be removed. Again, you recall, about a week ago, incidents that took place around Wager, where people's houses were virtually submerged in water. It is said that prevention is better than cure. This exercise is not in any way, shape or form to victimize anybody. Rather, what we are doing, and let's be careful, I noticed that today's dailies sent message that hundreds of buildings to be pulled down. Let's be very circumspect in our choice of words and reportage. What the exercise is about today is to target buildings or, in fact, fence walls that have been erected in the core area, water. They are building in the water. So the men and women, as you see today, will have three phases of the work. Today, tomorrow, and day three, they are going to bring down all the fence walls that are in the water. I'm sure you've been you've seen it. Once they've done that, there will be another critical assessment where the agency and the lands, forestry, will now identify buildings that are still sited in the waterway. And then uh, they are marked. And then the next phase will continue. So we shall continue with the exercise by the grace of God to remove fence walls in the waterway. Now, why do we want to do this? The, when it rains, the water falls all the way from a brick some finds its way through Onyasia, Jowulu. Then that's where I suffer when it rains, Alaju. You all know what happens in Alaju. Even with the current scheme of Alaju, when it rains, there's a problem. Imagine what will happen here, and it started already. When it rains, those of you who have been plying the motorway, you'll notice that the Sakumono, uh, the Ashaman Ridge area is gradually becoming flooded. If we don't deal with this issue, in the next two, three years, I'm afraid that all this area that we were standing will be flooded. So we, we are hoping that uh, residents in this area will cooperate with us. The Minister of Lands and his team are also putting in place measures to ensure that those who have already encroached upon the land will go through proper processes to ensure that their properties are regularized. I do not have the locus, but the Minister will speak to that issue. So I thank you very much. And I shall be grateful if your reportage is very circumspect and straight to the point without any, um, you know what I mean.